What's up guys, this is Alex from Star Wars Minute taking over for Elliot today, and welcome to Battlefront Updates. With the Outer Rim DLC coming out soon and news of future Battlefront maps, including the Death Star and Cloud City, I thought it would be fun to pour through some of the new canon comics and books and make a wish list of maps EA could include in updates down the line. A Star Destroyer. One of my favorite scenes in the new canon has got to be from Lost Stars. A rebel team attempts to board and commandeer a Star Destroyer before its captain can set off the self-destruct. They're forced to take different locations of the ship in a specific order. This could be similar to Rush, where the Empire has to defend these locations before rebels overwhelm them. I think it would be amazing. The Masasi Temple This temple was the site of the rebel base during the Battle of Yavin. After the destruction of the Death Star, the location was no longer a secret, and the rebels were forced to evacuate. I think this would be an interesting opportunity for an indoor slash outdoor map that takes place during that evacuation. Or maybe a new game mode could see rebel forces escorting VIPs or data onto rebel ships before the time is up. Geonosian Ruins So far, Battlefront has shied away from any Clone Wars era content. Well, what if they included it in a roundabout way? Geonosia and its population have been sterilized. Setting a map among their caves and ruined weapons factories would fit the current era EA wants to stick to, but also allow us to see half-built battle droids or maybe even some zombie Geonosians. I think this is a nice compromise that would at least acknowledge prequel era Star Wars without having to create new skins, weapons, ships, or other Clone Wars assets. Coruscant There is a serious lack of urban settings in Battlefront right now. Cloud City may fill that gap, but Coruscant could do even better. The book Aftermath tells some of the story of the fall of the Empire on Coruscant, and I think that would be a very interesting setting to explore. Again, this would allow for a mostly prequel era environment to be seen in the time period that Battlefront is set in. Coruscant is also diverse enough that there could be multiple maps, including Level 1313, or the Imperial Palace, which was formerly the Jedi Temple. The final location I want to mention is almost brand new to the canon. It's called Sunspot Station, and it's a secret rebel prison that closely orbits a star. I like the idea of a space station map, which we're soon going to get with the Death Star, but Sunspot Station might allow for environmental hazards such as solar flares, or maybe traps like opening airlocks near your enemies. The station has only been in one issue of the comics at the time of this recording, but a battle is already underway there and I immediately thought it would make for a very cool level. What do you guys think of my ideas? Do you think they'd be fun? Do you have any other ideas for future maps? Let us know in the comments. And if you missed Elliot today, he's doing a video on my channel about the Battle of Inusa Tor, which sounds like will be featured in the Outer Rim DLC, so go watch that. And while you're there, please consider checking out my channel and subscribing. I release new Star Wars lore videos every Monday through Friday, and I'm testing out some gaming videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.